thank you very much in this video i will explain direct selection tool which is just after the selection tool if you have selected any other tool like this tool is activated and you want to select direct selection tool just press a on your keyboard and you can see direct selection tool will enable or active so a is the keyboard shortcut key to enable direct selection tool so to use direct selection tool we will have to create first a shape shapes will come in my next uh, lectures uh, in details but right now because we want to learn this tool so I will create a shape from here that is called rectangle tool so when we select rectangle tool here we can see the fill color and outline color I will not explain right now about other details just I will explain about this thing like uh, in the next uh, like my upcoming videos when the shape this rectangle tool will come then I will explain in details right now only the fill color and the outline color so we can make a shape like this the outline color we will select no color and direct selection tool we will select see when we select selection tool we can see like anchor points here also in the center top center and right uh, bottom center also but when we select direct selection tool you can see that will not appear so now only four anchor point we can see and uh, if we zoom in like this uh, one more thing like if you want to move your, your document uh, when we zoom in you can press and hold space and you can move the document so select direct selection tool select any anchor point and you can now change this shape like you want to expand the shape you can so this tool is very professional tool when you are creating especially logos in the Adobe Illustrator so we can use this for uh, the logo designing purpose even in any designing purpose we can use so if I create another like this and if I use this color and now direct selection tool select the anchor point and see when we match the path you can see it will show the path like this and when we match from here you can see and also here and we can also move from this anchor point so now you can see there these were two rectangle shapes but now we can see that we have created something like this so that is very professional tool believe me if you want to design logos in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019 thank you very much for watching